Hello, Peggy. Hello, Frida. Seems like it's been forever and it's only been a week, right? God, I feel like uh, I've got so much to share with you guys. Hello, Bonnie. So the week that I took off last week has just been a crazy one. I am exhausted, not because I got to do anything exciting. There has just been a lot going on in life, but good news is we did get a lot moved. Hello, Marcia. We got a lot moved up at the other house. Uh, we got some cleaning done. Um, so now it's time to pretty much get big things packed and or not necessarily packed but just get them moved and then to just start the transition of being up there my husband and my son are going up tomorrow um to get pins built for our animals uh we've got all the paneling and everything and we've got all the t-posts and stuff so now we just gotta have to get those driven into the ground and get the fencing all up to make their little pins um or not little pins but make their pins um, so some of you don't know, I'm sure you probably saw me write it on my Facebook. The reason why I took last week off is because my mom was supposed to have surgery, heart surgery on, um, Valentine's day and on Monday. So the day before she was due to go in and have surgery, the hospital cause calls her and tells her that something happened with the billing and the insurance denied the claim to have her heart surgery done. Thank you, Marcia, for sharing. So it was one of those things like, how the heck can the insurance deny something that is like, you don't get to play God. You, you know, this is something that has to happen. She has to have this surgery or she could potentially have a heart attack um, because her heart is not at full capacity. Her blood is not pumping like it should be through her heart because one of her valves is pretty much kind of sealed shut. Not 100% sealed, sealed shut, but it's like at a 80%. So there's only like 20% of the um, blood pumping through there. So it's not working properly. So, uh, oh, so she called her insurance company and she was like, I need to know what is going on. Why did this get denied? And apparently the insurance says that the claim never even got put in. So there wasn't, there wasn't a denial. It was just the hospital. So somewhere something didn't get put in. So that kind of screwed that one up because I, my husband took the week off. I took the week off thinking that I was, you know, going to need to be with my mom and all that kind of stuff. So they have rescheduled her, her surgery for February 28th. So that will be, um, next Tuesday. So I will be live on Monday. Um, I will play it by ear whether or not I'm going to be live for my, uh, what's it called? My coffee and cards over on YouTube. I might go ahead and do a live, not so live. So I might go ahead and do a pre-recorded and make sure it gets out there at, uh, one o'clock over on YouTube so you guys can have that. So um, yeah, just super crazy. Um, so that kind of put a damper on what I kind of had planned for the week <clears throat> and why I had taken the week off. Also, we had gotten news over the weekend, or not this weekend, but last weekend that um, my father-in-law had been put on hospice. Hello, Kay. Had been put on hospice due to um, we weren't sure exactly why he was put on hospice. He is, he's kind of in denial about what is going on with his health. Um, but we have been informed and um, have talked to hospice. And we have found out that he has lung cancer. Now he has a, I guess it's kind of a rare form of lung cancer. I'm trying to remember what they had said. Car Carcinogenic genoma or so I don't remember what it's called hello Linda um it, it's it's the kind of cancer that is formed upon having scar tissue so about a year ago he had COVID and he got all this scar tissue in his lungs and apparently that's where the uh, cancer has attacked his lungs <clears throat> so they have put him on hospice um, 
my husband was supposed to go up there this last week and um, visit with him and, you know, get to see him because, you know, we don't know how long they're giving him or anything like that because he's being very vague with us. We, my husband has reached out to his siblings. They're kind of being very vague about things. So we don't know. And the hospice nurse can only tell us so much because she, because of HIPAA laws and that kind of stuff. So all this, you know, all that was going on. And then, um, so it was just, it's just been a lot of emotional stress, I guess you might say. Um, but you know what? We are in good health. And I, I guess I have to say that's all that matters because as long as we're healthy and we're, you know, keep chugging along here and getting this move done and over with, that will be a big thing and a big release off of us is once we get moved. Um, so you'll be seeing a whole new setup here probably within the next couple of weeks. It will kind of be a transition that I go through. Hello, Andrea. Um, getting everything set up because I think I'm going to start doing videos from my mom's house. She has quite the setup. So she's got a pretty big house that they just recently had built and it's just her and my stepdad and their dog. So I wouldn't have to worry about my whole family. Like when I go live now, I have to tell them that they have to kind of be quiet. So they're not coming and going in and out of my room and making a lot of noise. And I've got kids and blah, 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 blah. So um, it's one of those things that I think it would just be much easier if I just go to my mom's house and start doing videos from there. And then I might even make mom come on live with me. <laughs> I know she would hate me for that, but you know what? Come on, you got to live a little bit. That's what I keep trying to, there she is right there. She just popped up. Um, so I think once we get moved and I start doing videos from her house, it might be something that we make cards together every once in a while. So then you guys can see some of her creativity too. So I don't know. It's, we'll just see how it goes. I know she is, she is totally camera shy. She does not like being on film, but I think I'm going to try to, try to push her out of that comfort zone and uh, get her to do some lives with us because that would be kind of fun. I see other people doing it with their moms and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to so get my mom because me and my mom are a kick, <laughs> I think. But um, we kind of just tease each other and mess around. I'm an only child, so she's kind of, she's my compadre. She's my best friend. So <laughs> it's just one of those things. Oh, well, thank you, Peggy. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's just what has been going on. Also, I want to let you guys know uh, we have one week left of celebrations. Doesn't that just seem crazy that the last two months have just flown by? Um, <laughs> I need to wake up. I'm having a dream. Well, you know, I may just have to, like, nudge you over the edge a little bit and get you to maybe you don't have to be on film maybe we can just turn the camera around and you can like help make cards with me then all they have to see is your hands that's okay right I don't know we'll work something out <laughs> so she could just be my sidekick where she hands me stuff or whatever I don't know we'll we'll figure something out so um one one week week left of celebrations. Also, that means one week left of uh, that join promotion where you can get your hands on that super cute blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I have it here. I know I've shown it a couple times. I'll show it again. Um, and then you get to pick one hundred and seventy five dollars worth of product on top of that blue machine and pay one hundred and twenty nine dollars. Like that is just unbelievable truly so if you have been thinking about you know buying some stampin up products and you just you know there's just so much that you want join now it, during this promotion get all the things that you want and you can start crafting and get yourself a little mini machine and it's just it's a wonderful way to get yourself set up now with that being said I want to let you guys know that you do not have to make a business out of this. You can simply become a demonstrator to get a great discount on all your upcoming products. So that's why we have so many people on our team that never do anything besides just be discount shoppers. And there's no judgment. 
you be a discount shopper and you enjoy that discount on all your upcoming product because it's the best way to do it. And with this promotion going on right now, it is the best way to get all the, the things that you need in the beginning to get started so you can get a lot, a big bang for your buck pretty much because you get to pick one of those machines, whether it be the small, the white machine, the blue machine, and $175 worth of product out of any of the current catalogs and what is on the online store and pay $129. Or if you already have a stamp and cut and emboss machine and you don't want that, you still can pick option number three and pick $175 worth of product and pay only $99. That is with free shipping. You get all your um, catalogs that you can give to your family and friends if they want to start buying product underneath you. Even though you don't have a business, they can still buy products from you and help you meet your uh, quarterly minimums to stay a demonstrator. Also, you will get um, a free paper pumpkin in there. So if you've been kind of like, you know, kind of playing around thinking that maybe you want to start a paper pumpkin and it's a great way to get a paper pumpkin and see what paper pumpkin's all about. And then also remember that once you're a demonstrator, you start getting your paper pumpkin subscriptions for a discount as well. So you can't go wrong with that either. Hello from South Dakota. Supposed to be eight to 14 inches of snow. Holy wow. Vicky, that is crazy. Now, you know, I have to tell you and don't be jelly, but it has been in the 70s here in Tucson, Arizona. It has been warm. I was actually contemplating whether or not if I needed to turn my fan on in here today because even though all of our doors and windows are open, it's still very warm in here because of my lights that I have going. So I was like, oh my gosh, I know I'm going to start getting hot flashes because if I screw up on anything or say the wrong thing, I wind up having a hot flash. But um, if I didn't already join, I would absolutely take advantage, right? I know that's what I'm saying. If, if you're not already a demonstrator, this is the time to definitely sign up. And like I said, even if it is just to get your discount, do it. It's amazing. But I want you to know, even if you never take it any further and you never buy another thing, it is a great way to get yourself all the product that you want now out of this current catalog and then go back to being a customer again. You can absolutely do that as well. Just get yourself all those products for such a great discount um, for the hundred, you get to pick $175 plus a machine and only pay $129. Like that's just incredible. Like it blows my mind that they can do that. So it's something to consider. And remember, you only have until the 28th of February. So like I said, in a week. Thank you, Nancy, for sharing. Thank you, Patty, for sharing. So those are kind of the things that I really wanted to touch bases on. Also, we have another um, promotion coming up starting on February or March 1st. We are in February. March 1st, Stampin' Up! has started a new online exclusive items. So you won't find those items in any of the catalogs. You're supposed to get snow there in Oregon too. Jeez Louise. Well, we are nice and warm down here. I mean, it's not warm, but it's warm enough where we can still be wearing t-shirts and it has been incredible weather. The sun is shining. Um, we've been taking my daughter out and going for walks pretty much every day around the yard. So look, I'm already starting to sweat. Oh, whew. see, I get talking too much and it makes me start having hot flashes. Uh, and just old age, I tell you. <laughs> so um, that new promotion that starts March 1st, um, those of you that are demonstrators currently can already start buying these items because you get a month early of uh, pre-order items. Another bonus of being a demonstrator, you get a month ahead of time before it goes live to customers. You get to start buying products a month ahead. So there's just so, there's so many perks. Like I cannot, you will not be disappointed. Let me tell you that. <laughs> just, I cannot tell you that enough. You will not be disappointed. Uh, I know I love the snow too. I do. And I really miss it because when we used to live in Oregon, it, we lived at the base of Mount Hood and 
pretty much every year the kids would at least get a couple of days of, uh, what do they call it? Um, snow days where they would stay home and then all the neighborhood hit neighborhood kids would get together and go sledding at the park. And it was so much fun. And I do, I love the snow. And I, I say that so much that I probably drive everybody crazy because so many people tell me just the opposite, that they hate the snow and they wish they lived here. Well, I'll tell you, the desert gets pretty boring at times. I'm not saying that we don't have gorgeous skies because our skies here are, I, I mean, they're just mind blowing. Our skies are just gorgeous. We have some of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen. So we do have that. But as far as having our seasons, I am a total four seasons kind of girl and I have lived here for 10 years and this year in particular was the first year that I actually felt the fall change and it's not that we have leaves that change colors because we don't have trees that really have like that kind of leaves on them but there was definitely that shift in the air this was the first year and it's weird that it marked our exact 10 years of living here that it was the first year that I felt that shift in the fall weather where you would feel that crisp air in the morning. Everything would have like that light dew on it. So it was it was kind of one of those things where I was like, oh my gosh, I've been missing this. But I do miss um, those fall leaf colors and, um, you know, going to the pumpkin patches with the kids we have pumpkin patches here, but it's still not quite the same as when you have them in um, areas that have more of that fall feel to them. So anyways, I am going to flip you guys around so we can get down to making some cards. I have gotten some cards in the mail from some of you wonderful people who watch me. And I want to share your cards because they're just so inspiring to everyone. Um, so let me get you guys flipped around. We're going to show that. We're going to do the giveaways from not last week, but the week before, because last week I was not live. Um, so we will get to all of that. So just you hold tight. What am I seeing here that is not? There we go. I was going to say, I don't know why we're seeing the bar from my stand, but it was there and that was just a little bit annoying. Thank you, Peggy, for sharing. Okay, so you guys are here for my free online. Every Monday, I do my um, Facebook Lives, and we make three cards. So I'm so excited that you all are here. I am Danny Garola with StampinThePinkBarn.com. You can visit my store at ShopDannyGarola.com. That's also where you're going to find that join promotion. Um you can go over there and hit that join button, then that's exactly where you're gonna join from. If you go to my blog, stampinthepinkbarn.com, go to promotions, and that's where you're gonna see all the upcoming promotions and what we have going on right now. As far as the um, current, there is a new paper pumpkin that we have, which we're gonna talk about here in just a minute. You're gonna see that join promotion there, so you can read all about that. You're gonna also read about the, uh, Right now, during celebrations, it's a great time to uh, buy a prepaid subscription to your paper pumpkin. So then that way you're going to wind up getting all your uh, celebrations promotion or celebrations earned products with that as well. I'm also going to show you, I have um, done my pre-order for the upcoming online exclusive items and that new, uh, what is it called? The... Um, Irresistible Blooms uh, stamp set and paper and that whole suite. So I'm going to show that to you as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the new paper pumpkin that runs through. Hello, Anna. Hello, Jamie. Um, the new paper pumpkin is 
running now through March 10th. Now this paper pumpkin is kind of special because this is celebrating Paper Pumpkin's 10 year anniversary. So this is, um, it's Paper Pumpkin's 10th anniversary and we want to celebrate how much we've grown. This month's kit is all about happy greetings, organic and botanical designs and a free gift as part of our anniversary celebrations that we hope you'll love. It's also the occasion to root for the people in your life who help you grow. Let them know you recognize their support at different chapters of your life by sending them heartfelt cards with happy, fresh, and colorful designs. So as you can see, the box is not your typical paper pumpkin red box this time. It is an actual like decorated, uh, colorful box that is going to come. Um, it says it's going to include all the products you need to make nine cards, three each of three designs and nine coordinating envelopes and all occasion stamp set to celebrate happy moments and recognize the people in your life who help you grow you're going to get gold foil sentiments, one polished pink stamp and spot, and one free stamp set to celebrate our 10-year anniversary and all our Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So this kit is going to be fabulous. Again, like I said, if you want to know more about this kit, you can go over to my promotions over on stampinthepinkbarn.com and read more about that. As you're reading through that, make sure you check out that um, prepaid subscription as well so you can get some of those uh, celebrations items before they're gone. Here is that join promotion. I've kind of already talked about this, so I'm not going to, you know, keep going over it and over it and drive you guys bananas. So with the uh, celebrations, they've actually added more items to our promotion. So they've added these extra 10 items to it. So we have two kits on here now. Now all of these that have the blue little circles next to this, you can also find this over on my blog and you can print this off because you're gonna need these codes in order to add these to your celebrations um, free products. Because if you try to use this code out of the catalog, it's not going to be added to your celebrations. You have to use this exclusive code from this PDF in order to get these free as your celebrations items. Now, the other thing that I want you to know is this spool of white frayed ribbon, you actually get two spools with this, not just one spool. Um, we have an embossing folder, which is the Into the Clouds embossing folder, plus the Hive 3D embossing folder. Now, these ones with the little blue um, circles on them, they are all earned as level ones. So once you spend $50, you're going to earn one of these free or anything that's in the um, level one of the Celebrations promotion. Down here, we have the most fabulous thing I think that Stampin' Up! has put in celebrations. This is an actual bundle. So it comes with the full stamp set and a full die set. This is earned as a level two. So once you spend $100, you can add this to your celebrations and get a full another stamp and die set added as your freebie. So definitely check this out. Again, like I said, you only have a week left to do your celebrations items. So don't let these slip away and not be able to get them. Now I do wanna let you guys know that the dainty flowers that are inside of the, um, the, cel the celebrations brochure. So this dainty flowers, the designer series paper, this is no longer available. So cross this off, you cannot get this any longer. These items are all as supplies last. And this one is now done. They've sold out of that and they will not be making any more of that because like I said, we only have a week left. So just so you guys know, here is what this is going to look like when it comes to your paper pumpkin, um, the prepaid subscription. Like I said, you can check this out over on my blog. Definitely look at doing the 12 month prepaid because not only are you going to get 
um, quite a few of those celebrations items, but you're also going to um, earn yourself some Stampin' Rewards. So you're gonna actually earn $23.50 in free product on top of your celebrations items. So, the, and that will give you a 12 month uh, prepaid subscription for uh, the year. All right, so this is that online exclusive product. Um, there is the PDF here. I have not added this to the blog yet, but I will get to that, adding this over there. Um, I think I should probably do it this way, but I actually have the product in hand. So I want to show you guys this gorgeous um, new stamp set that they have come out with. It is the Irresistible Blooms stamp set. So let me grab that and the suite. So with this, it is the Sweet Collection. So it comes with the stamp set, the dies, the uh, paper, and the little embellishments. So we go, went ahead and got all of it. So let me show you what this is. So here is this stamp set. You get two sizes of flowers, and then you get a couple different leaves here. You get a little splatter stamp, and then some super cute uh, sentiments. Up here it says, I like you. I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. Thank you, hello, hooray, it's your day. I really like that one. Now those are the cling stamps, so they're red rubber. <clears throat> and I don't think you can choose, yeah, no, you can't choose whether or not you want cling or uh, photopolymer. Those just come in the cling. Here are the dies that coordinate with this. This is a really, really neat, almost like a wreath. Um, this is called the Irresistible Blooms dies. You get uh, this, it's almost like a wreath, but it cuts out these different circles with these little like bubbles on them. This will cut out both of the different size flowers here. You also have the different leaves that it's going to cut out. Plus it's gonna open, it's gonna uh, die cut some open leaves as well. Um, you've got the little small leaf here that it's going to do. And then you've got this really neat, um, if you can see it on this card right here, this it's these long lines that you can cut right through your paper and leave a really neat texture on your cards. So there is that. And the dies you're going to get, um, let me flip this around 13 dies in this set that coordinate with this stamp set. Um, let's look at the paper. Now, we have been told that uh, this paper is bringing back some of our old colors that have been retired. So, uh, um, what is it called? Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock are coming back within this paper here. So you've got some gorgeous designs here. This is a 48 pack of paper. This is six by six. I'm really starting to like the six by six size. So there's that. It is all of the colors that are included in this paper are Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock and Soft Seafoam. So you've really got some gorgeous paper going on here. So this paper, that is kind of that shape that I was telling you about that die, that long die. It does this little technique here with that. You've got some like the watercolor look on the back side of some of these. And these dies will actually cut out these leaves and the flowers here. If you don't wanna stamp and you just wanna cut them out of the paper, you can do that with this paper. This one I think is really pretty. I was actually gonna use this today, but I think I'll just wait um, when you guys can actually purchase it because it's kind of a tease to show you all this product um, on cards now and you not be able to buy them. I know that's kind of frustrating because we all live in such a um, a time where when you see something and you want it and you just want to buy it now, you don't want to have to wait. I mean, at least that's how I am. Don't tease me. Don't, you know, make all these wonderful cards and then tell me that I can't buy it because then I'm not going to like you very much. <laughs> so 
I'm going to wait and not make any products with these um, or make any cards with these until they go live to you guys so you guys can actually purchase what I show you. Now, these are the loose um, frosted dots. They are in Pretty Peacock, Daffodil Delight, and Flirty Flamingo. Now, these are not adhesived so you can actually use these in shaker cards you can um put a dot of glue you can on the bigger ones you could probably actually use a um, mini glue dot but they are really pretty they're flat on the one side to put down onto your card and then they're just kind of frosted and um, beveled on the other side so they're just really neat they're like little bubbles i think those are going to make great little shaker cards <clears throat> so there's that and then, so that is the sweet collection that they have done up here as an exclusive. But we also have three other things. Now, every month they're going to come out with different things to add to this exclusive list. But this is the items that are going to be coming out on March 1st. So this is called the Naturally Gilded 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. <clears throat> this is what this looks like. <clears throat> now this is that foily gorgeous paper so you get two sheets of this this is like very vanilla with gold and so the back side this is not double sided and then you've got silver here again not double sided but you get two sheets of this very shiny it's almost hurting my eyes but that is the white with the silver and then you have white with our I believe this is copper I think that's what that is I think that's what they call that because it matches our metallic um, that's the basic what is our yeah copper we have copper um, embossing folder that comes in the metallics uh, embossing powder. So in the metallic embossing folders, you get silver, gold, and copper. So it matches perfectly with this paper if you're um, looking at embossing as well to match this. And then the next one is for three, it's a three pack of the embossing folders. This is the Basics 3D embossing folders. As you can see here, it's kind of hard to see. That's why I'm showing you guys these. So you can actually see what they really look like hands on here. Now this one, so they're 3D. So that means that you have to use the 3D plates with these. Also, they give you a much better impression. They're much deeper when they uh, emboss your paper. So this is almost like some little star um, look. It almost looks like a bunch of little stars. I think that would be neat for some Christmas cards as well. It is a really neat embossing folder. There's that one. And then this one is more like um, like scratch marks, I guess you would say is that one so you get all three of these for thirty dollars since our embossing folders are ten dollars but if you're a demonstrator you're going to get your discount on that and then these i love this one these big giant polka dots i love this and i cannot wait to use this because i really miss our polka dots that we used to have so these are kind of those bigger bubbly polka dots in love with that so that is those. I did not get the alphabets because I just currently got the die set that is called the Alphabet a la Mode. So I didn't think that I needed the stamps um, that are in the alphabet as well. So just to let you guys know, I didn't get that. But I, all the other products I did want to show you that I did get. So you can kind of see a better view of that. Okay, so again, that does not start until uh, March 1st. So this is my current host code. This will go until the 28th of February, and then it will change to a new host code. So just know that any of your orders that are under $150, please use my host code. You can get to my store by going to shopdannygarola.com, and it is the first tab 
there on the line. It says shop and that's where you go in and it takes you right into my store. All right, so let me show you some of the cards that I have received this last week. Um, this one came from Anna Rebadu. She was thanking me for our mystery stamping that we did. Look at this. She used the, uh, I have this set and I keep thinking, gosh, I have to take this out and play with it. It is called Around the Bend. Isn't this so pretty? And she used that country floral um, lane paper with this. And then look at that gold that she put in between there to really make this card just popped, pop. And then look at the sparkle on those flowers. She put the Wink of Stella on there. Isn't that such a gorgeous card? When I saw this, I was just like, oh my goodness, this really, really inspired me to really want to get that set out and play with it. So that was, um, and here's the inside of the card. Again, she was thanking me for how much she enjoys participating in the mystery stamping. Okay, so there is that one. And then she sent me another one for Valentine's Day. I cannot wait to make this card with you guys. I have to figure out how to make this card. So I might have to um, message her and ask her for the dimensions and everything. But wait till you guys see this. So again, this is that country floral lane with, the, um, with that heart. I actually have a kit class um, a PDF kit class over on my blog that you can purchase um, a PDF that makes six cards with this set. Look at this. Isn't that so amazing? Look at how all those pop up. This is a fun fold that she made and it is just, I am, when I opened this up, I was so in awe. I was like, oh my goodness, I have to make this with you guys. Because if this was sitting on somebody's desk, it would sit like this. And these float, they look like they're floating, um, these little squares. And look, there's so much detail in this. I am just in love with this card. So Anna, thank you so much. This is just beautiful. I love it. But again, I love receiving cards from you. All of your cards that you make are always so beautiful. Now, this one um, came from Nancy Olson. Um, look at the envelope that she created with this. She put the little drag uh, fireflies on the envelope here to make this match. Now, I'm actually going to be using this set tonight. So when I saw this, I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show this because I love this set. I just got this when I ordered all my exclusive items. Um, this is called Lighting the Way. I love this little lantern. Um, it reminds me of when I was a kid. We had gone camping somewhere, and I don't remember where we went, and my mom can't remember where we went, but it was the very first time I had ever seen fireflies in real life. Like, I thought it was always something that you would read in a book as a kid, and I had never seen them because I have never been, like, on the East Coast, or not the East Coast, but I mean... Um, like you, I always hear of them being like Louisiana, Tennessee, that's where you see fireflies. I was a, you know, city kid from Southern California. So I had never seen fireflies. So I do not remember where we went, but it was on some kind of camping trip. And, um, we had stopped on the side of the road as we were traveling and we had seen fireflies for the very first time. It was pretty, pretty fantastic. And I'll never forget that. So when I saw this set, I just thought, oh my gosh, I so have to have this. Um, so yeah, this is the card that she created and is absolutely beautiful. I love how she has done the sponging on this to really make this lantern look like it is illuminating off of this card. So yeah, we are going to play with this set. Thank you so much, Nancy. And thank you so much, Anna, for your guys' beautiful cards. I just love these. And I'm glad, Anna, that you are enjoying mystery stamping. I so enjoy doing that with you guys. And I love seeing what you guys come up with. So, all right, so let's get to the first card. This first one that I'm going to be making is we are going to be playing with, I believe this is called picturesque. Now, I might be saying that completely wrong. Um, it's kind of a goofy word for me and I'm not great with words, but um, yeah, whatever that's called. I think I'm saying it right, <laughs> but again, I could be totally slaughtering that word. Um, I just got this as well. 
And it was one that I kept kind of looking at in the catalog. And I was like, hmm, you know, I'm not sure if I like it. But then I thought, you know what, I really need to get like in the uh, the swing of making masculine cards. And I thought this would be great for making masculine cards and those sceneries. And not only just for masculine cards, but I really think it's a great set to have. It's a stamp set. It doesn't have any dies with it. So, you know, it's an affordable set that can make all occasion cards. So we're going to go ahead and play with that. I'm also bringing out the, uh, this is the, um, deckled rectangle dies. We're going to use that as well. My card base is the basic white thick. This is 11 by four and a quarter and I've scored it at five and a half. So I'm just going to fold that and burnish that down. Now on that um, new more to celebrate list, they have added this paper. Now I'm going to be using this paper on two cards tonight because this paper I have found is so versatile on so many cards that you guys are going to see the two different cards that I make and be like, wow, that, that really is kind of versatile. Now this is called Enjoy the Journey paper. It has got some beautiful um, scenery papers in it. You also have this really neat... Uh, it's the blue, like it's called Starry Sky is the name of this color, but it's got like this uh, night sky uh, look to it. Plus you've got on the other side, you've got kind of those different colors that you can use for those mountain sceneries. If you wanna do more of your purples or you wanna do more of your greens, you can cut this right in half and then you've got two different colored papers. But it's kind of the same way with a lot of this paper, like here, cut it in half. These are in 12 by 12 pieces, but I just have these cut up because it's easier to show. But look at this. This one even has the moon behind the mountains. And then the other side is more of an abstract. You've got the snowy mountains in the two different colors. And then this, um, you've got more of a, a sky scenery with the clouds. And then this reminds me more of like a water. And then you've got that on the back side. I didn't even show you the back side of this one. So there is the other one that has that big full 12 by 12. So you just cut these in half and then cut them in half again. And you've got, you know, or even cut them in thirds and you've got your backgrounds for your paper. I mean, your uh, paper backgrounds for your cards. I really slaughtered that. I said that completely backwards. So let's get to this. I am going to be using the paper on there and I didn't even show you a full sheet of that but this has got this tree let me show it to you because it is really neat this is a 12 by 12 and I've cut this down to fit my card um, but it looks like all these trees but it almost does that ombre effect in this paper and then on the back side again you've got more of that abstract design pattern on the back So that is the paper that I chose for this first card. So I have taken a piece of that and I have cut that to the same size as the front of my card. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. And that is going to fit the full front layer of my card. Then I have taken, this is called... This is something new that is inside of our mini catalog right now. This comes in the balmy blue, the basic white, and then the, I believe it's garden green, no, shaded spruce. And this is called textured shimmer paper. So I'm not sure if you can see the texture to this, but it almost feels like it is um, cor corrugated. Is that that word? Um, where... It's it feels like you, they've taken and scored it a bunch of times on there. It's really neat. And then it's got a shimmery shine to it as well. So I have taken a piece of that and I have taken a piece of basic white scrap. If I can find my basic white scrap, I think I already cut it. But anyways, I am going to cut um, two pieces using my die here. I am using the fourth one in and the fifth one out. So uh, this is the, 
It is two and five eighths by, by four. So that is the size of that one. And I have cut that out of the, um, the balmy blue shimmer and a piece of white. So I have both of these pieces here. I need to have my stamping um, pad here so I don't wind up making a mess anywhere all over my table. And I forgot to do the winners of last week's card, so I will make sure that I do them when I'm done with this first card. So if I try to go on to card number two and I have forgotten, let me actually get them out and set them over here so I don't forget. Um, you guys can yell at me and be like, wait a minute, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, okay, so I have my little white piece here. Now I'm going to bring out a couple different colors here. I'm going to be using soft sea foam, garden green. Get that. Ooh, you try no, you could not. Um, and mint macaron. So those are my three colors that I'm using. get all my stamps out here okay so these stamps fit together they kind of nest in one another so for your main stamp it's kind of this big um, it's got this big piece here with the trees on it now if you look at this this piece right here fits this little piece right here will fit right in here and then the bottom of this lines up right down here and in that. So it all kind of lines up nicely. Then this here lines up on here. Now I'll show you because I know that's probably a little confusing when I say it that way. But you'll see what I mean here in just two seconds. So I'm going to start with my garden green. And I'm going to flip this sideways so I can get this full image on here. And then I know that my rectangle is smaller than my stamped image, and that's okay. Because I'm just going to place this on here where I just see a little bit of it on there. Just like that. Now, again, it's going to overlap, but that's okay because I just want to see some of this green on there. Okay, then my next color is going to be Mint Macaron. And this is that piece that I said fits right inside of this little area here. I'm just going to stamp that down. Just like that. See how that just fits right nicely in there. And then I'm going to use my... Soft sea foam for the big sky sky area now right here this is what i was talking about these little pieces right here line up with this little tree set here now i just watch what i'm doing here and line this all up i tend to hold my breath when i do it <laughs> goofy Okay, there's that and then now I'm going to take my um, other little stamped image here and come back with mint macaron and turn it the correct way and then this is just gonna fit right above that sky just like that so it looks like a little meadowy look there so that is going to then get placed on top of this like this okay then I'm going to bring in my 
what was I going to use? I think I was going to use another scrap of this blue and this is just going to go right across the front of this. So I'm just going to cut just a little small sliver of that. And then I need a piece of white and why I didn't grab any white scraps out, I will never know. So here is a piece of white scrap that I'm going to need. So I'm going to just cut this. I think that's going to be the perfect length that I need. So that is three and a quarter and I'm going to cut that at one quarter. Hmm, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to cut it at, um, I think I'm going to cut it at three eighths. I want it a little bit thicker than a quarter. Okay, that's gonna go across the top there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a piece of white and at that same size, what we're gonna, like I said, that was, we're gonna do it actually a little bit smaller. So that was a size three and a quarter. So now I'm gonna cut this piece at, let's say we're gonna try three and see if that'll work. Okay, and then I'm going to cut that at about one inch. I think that'll be plenty wide enough to go there. Okay, just like that. And then let's pull this piece off because we're going to do some, um, our sentiment on this little piece. Where did I put my stamp set? There it is. So I really like the uh, difficult roads bring you beautiful destinations. Press on just because love knows no boundaries and hello. So again, you've got some great versatility there. I'm going to use the difficult roads bring you beautiful destinations. Now, I was saying that this is kind of a more masculine set. Now, these sentiments don't necessarily aren't bringing me to the point of where I was going that these are um, masculine sentiments. It's just the scenery seems more masculine for me. So I'm going to use the garden green and I'm going to use this sentiment here. The difficult roads bring you to beautiful destinations. I'm just going to stamp this right on this white here. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue those two pieces together. Now you might wanna use your snail adhesive for this to make sure you really get a good adhesion on this shimmer paper. But I've really found that glue actually kind of works okay and holds that together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my layer to my base, my designer series paper. And I like to really get close to the edges on this because since it is the, the full width of the card, I don't want any of those um, lifting. So that is going to go right on the front of my card here. Okay, that is going to get centered there. This little blue piece is going to go right across the top. And then my sentiment is going to be right there. Now I think I might want to cut my sentiment a little bit. Uh, no, I think that's okay. But you know what I do want to do? Now, this could be good or this could be bad, but we're just going to do it because because I can. I want to take my green. Where is it? I 
I'm going to use my small blending brush and I'm just going to put some green around the edges of this. Oh, I think I went a little too crazy. I didn't mean to go that that big on that, but it'll work because it still looks good because it still has that kind of rugged, rustic look to it. And I really think that needs that because of the white on white. Yep, I like that. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to run a little bit of glue across the bottom of this. Because this is now going to attach to this. And that blue piece is just a skosh bigger. Okay, like that. And then this is going to go on here and that is going to go on the card but we need to make the white piece straight so i'm going to glue this straight down on here okay so watching my white piece i want it more straight and the balmy blue piece is going to be the more angled I need to go this way just a bit okay this is gonna get popped up on dimensionals like that and that's gonna go right across there just like that and it's a very simple like I said masculine car or it doesn't have to be masculine but I just like the fact that all those pieces and those stamps kind of fit together to really make a neat scenery look that kind of can just uplift somebody's day I'm going to come in with the pastel adhesive backed sequence and I'm going to add some of these little blue ones on here now we do have that pack of that pack of ribbon. Where did I put it? Did I have it out here? We have that three pack of twine combo pack. Um, you could take that garden green and you could add some of that to that, but I just didn't see where it would kind of tie in to look okay. So I'm just gonna leave it alone because we're gonna add some sequins here. Okay, so I'm gonna add the big one right here. And it kind of looks green once you add it to this card um, let's see, I'm going to put this down here. There we go. And then maybe let's do another small one up over here. Okay, and then now let's do one more big one because we've got to have odd number here. <laughs> let's put that one there. There we go. Okay, so there is that card. Now what I would do on the inside of this is I would take, ugh, I can get these sequins. I would take a piece of that, um, enjoy the journey in that green. And I would run that across the bottom now that's going the wrong way, so that's not going to work. I'm going to set that aside so I don't wind up stick it in any of that ink that I have sitting here. Here's the piece. That's what I was looking for. I knew I had another piece cut that it would run across there. That one is the one that I want, though, because it's darker green. All right, so I would take this here, and I would cut this at a half an inch. And I would put that along the bottom of my card. Okay. 
to make the inside match. Just like that. And then either put a sentiment in there, but since one of you um, lucky viewers are going to win this card. I'm not going to put anything in the inside of there because I think that should be left to you with however you want to say um, whatever goes with that sentiment. So there is our first card. That is that picturesque um, stamp set. I really love all the colors. You can do so many variations of colors with this. I just thought it looked really good with that tree paper from the Enjoy the Journey. And again, that paper is on the Celebrate More um, as part of the celebration. So that is card number one. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way so I can come in and do our winners of two weeks ago when I did the cards that were, um, I used the the desert the delicate desert i'm just gonna clean these really quick now i am using my simple my simply chamois here because i just love how easy and how well it cleans my stamps and all you need is water you don't need any fancy sprays or anything like that to put on your chamois. So if you don't have a chamois, make sure you add that to your order. This thing is pretty much one of those things that um, it will last forever. Yes, it's going to get stained up, but nonetheless, it will perform wonderfully every single time. All you simply do is take it to the sink and you rinse it on warm water and cold water. Um, because it's going to take out your two different tones out of here. Now, it's not going to clean it completely back to the original state. It's going to stay stained, but you won't get those colors bleeding off of there. Okay, so now let's get to the winners of our um, class that was... Um, Class number 123, since today we are in class 124, episode 124. So for our first card here, it is going to um, the person who liked that last video. So video 123 for liking that video this first card here, sending warm rays your way. Just love the colors in this. This is going to go to Miss Cheryl Merzenic. This is going to be coming to you. So I don't write, I don't stamp. Well, sometimes I stamp a sentiment in the inside. But if it's something that says sending warm rays your way, you're going to want to put, because this card can go for so many different occasions, I want you to be able to put whatever sentiment you want inside of there. So I, I try to leave, for the most part, them pretty blank in the inside. I might decorate them a little bit, but you can now um, re-gift this to whoever you choose to send this to as your recipient. So that's going to go to Cheryl. The next card was this Evening Evergreen. Now this one, I used the whole um, suite of uh, products here. I used the Soft Succulent to stamp both of these. I used the um, die cut here in vellum. This one here is going to go for commenting last week. This is gonna go to Becky Drake White. This is gonna go to you. So I've also decorated in the inside. Again, there's no sentiment inside of there. So this is gonna go to you, Becky. So make sure that you send me your address because Becky, I don't think I have your address. I think somebody's knocking on my bedroom door. Hold on just a moment. I guess he's out playing with it. My son is out playing with the dog and the dog was hitting the door. It sounded like somebody was knocking on the door. <laughs> so the um, 
last card that we did, this is for sharing last video. This one here, we did a little bit of extra element to it and I used some of that gilded leafing in these flowers to really make those flowers just pop and come alive. And I use the border dies here, the basic border dies, to give it kind of just a different fold here. And uh, along with that designer series paper, now this is gonna go to K Wire. So congratulations, you guys. I can't wait to get these in the mail to you. So be watching for your happy mail. And so the way you get entered into the cards for today's video is like, comment, and share this video. You have all week to come back and um, tell your friends to come in and like it or comment or whatever, and they can also be entered into it. That's why I ask you guys to share it so then people on your Facebook feed will see it as well. And it's also what helps get me out there so other people can see what um, I got going on too. All right. So card number two, this is where we're going to be using that lighting the way. This is that really, really cool lantern here. You get a couple different sizes of the fireflies. You get these three different greeneries here. Um, some really neat sentiments. Thanks for lighting the way. Follow your dreams. You are all kinds of wonderful. I really like that sentiment. Um, so... This is um, a set of dies that you get 14 dies in this. And the stamps, you get 14 stamps as well. So my card base I am using today is basic black. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And we're going to simply fold this in half and burnish it. Okay, so there's our base. All these products can be found in my store when you go over to shopdannygorilla.com. Hit that shop button and you can go over there. Also on my blog later tonight, I normally tell you guys to check tomorrow because um, I'm normally up pretty late getting photos, getting everything written up for these blogs, um, getting all the products added. There is going to be clickable, um, a shopping list there that you can click on all the products that I have shown you today and it'll take you right to my store or add them right to your cart so you don't have to kind of go search for all the products. The next layer that I am using is pumpkin pie. This is four by five and a quarter. That's going to go there next. Then again, I'm bringing in that Enjoy the Journey designer series paper. This is where I was showing you the um, different mountain sceneries that this paper has to offer. Now, this paper here is, I'm going to say three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Okay, so that is just going to get layered onto that. But first, we're going to do some sponging around this here. And we're going to do some stamping on this. And then we will do some die cutting. Our next pieces that we need is we just need a scrap of pumpkin pie, a scrap of basic black. If I can get it out of here scrap of basic black, and a scrap of vellum. So those are gonna be our scraps that we're gonna be doing some die cutting with those. These are our layers for our card. And then this we need, I need to use my finger dauber here, and I'm gonna use my Memento Black ink. And I'm going to get my pieces here. So I'm going to use this big leaf, leafed image here. And my memento. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to add this right here. Okay. The next one is going to come down right here. And 
This is going to go in the middle like that. And this is going to come here like that. And I think we need to, do I need to add a little bit more? Nope. I think if I add another one, it's going to be a little bit too much. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Then I'm going to come in with my little finger dauber here. And I'm just going to roll that in my ink, kind of make it where it's not so crazy. But then I'm just going to come and I'm just going to lightly add some of that black around the edge of this card. Or layer, I mean, not the card. Now you can go as light or as dark as you want. You can keep applying color. I think I like just that little bit. I think I just need just a touch more right up here. Okay, like that. I like that. So now I'm going to put the lid on that for the moment. And then we are going to add this circle right here. But I'm just going to get that added to my block. I'm not going to stamp it yet because we need to die cut that lantern. So let me move some of this out of the way here. And I'll show you the other color that I made this card on as well. So you guys can see how well it looks on the different papers here. So I'm going to get this, move this out of the way. Okay, this is that little embossing machine. Now, I forgot to show you guys the blue one, and I even told you I was going to. <laughs> here is the blue one. So here are both those different machines that you can get in that join promotion that is going on right now. So you can pick either the boho blue or you can pick the white. Okay, I ordered some new plates because my other ones... I think I told you that the other one was really cracked and it was not going to um, be working for too much longer without it winding up cracking completely. So I am going to grab my number one and two of my number twos. Now, what they say when you go to cut with these is you need to make the letter E. So you know that an E has your two big ones, your side, and then you've got a little shorter one that sticks out in the inside. So pretty much when you're looking at your, um, your plates here, you want to make your top one and your bottom one stick out just a little bit further than your middle one. Your middle one wants to be kind of in a little bit further to make kind of that letter E. It just cuts a lot better when you make that shape and keep them kind of staggered a little bit like that, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Okay, so now I need to take this lantern and my black scrap here Like that. I knew my paper was going to be a little bit too wide. I didn't even think about that. So we're just going to cut that down. Now that'll fit in there. We're going to take this lantern, cut the lantern, and then we're also going to cut this big firefly. So I'm just going to put that on there at the same time and cut both of those. So now knowing that my center one is in a little bit further and my two other ones are out, I'm going to go ahead and run that through. And that snap, crackle, pop is a good sound. So don't freak out thinking that, that oh my gosh, something broke. Nope, that is good. That means your machine is cutting the way that it needs to. Okay, so now my little piece. What happens when your, your die gets stuck in the inside of this? Well... 
That's why all of our dies have all these little circles in here. And that's why you need your take your pick tool or anything with like a pokey end on it. You're just going to poke that in there just like that and see how that's raising that out of there. Then you just take your finger and then you pull that right out. See how that works? Okay. Okay, and then we need to take the, oops, don't lose my little bug, and my lantern. And then we need to take our piece of uh, vellum, and we're going to cut out these big set of wings, which I have already done, and I have those right here. There's my wings. And then we need to take the piece of pumpkin pie and take the body right here the big body right there it's kind of his butt his little glow butt and we're going to cut that out and I have that as well so right here okay so all of our colors will kind of coordinate together okay I'm going to set my machine aside and we're gonna get to making this card. All right, so here is my lantern. So seeing where my lantern's gonna go, I'm gonna take that big circle and I'm going to stamp some, I think I'm gonna use mango. Yep, I think I'm gonna use mango because of the darkness of this. So I'm just going to kind of hold that there and then know that that's where I want to stamp that. Just like that. And then I'm going to let that dry for just a second. Don't lose my little bug. And then I am going to use the this little swish here. Almost looks like the little light of the bug. I add that right there move this out of the way and grab my memento and I'm going to set this here now before I adhere that I'm going to come in and add some wink of Stella to that because I want that light to kind of illuminate and shine but I'm going to put my little zippity do here using memento I'm just going to put this right there okay and then I'm going to use the sentiment, follow your dreams. Look at there. I didn't take that other little piece out. Follow your dreams, and I'm going to stamp that right down here. Okay, let's grab our Wink of Stella. Where did I put the lid? There it is. Just to make that little inside of that lantern look like it's really got that nice glow to it. So now this is where those little black dimensionals, when you order the black dimensionals, you get both size, sizes. You get the mini and you get the large ones. So for this, I'm going to use a couple of the minis on here. I'm going to put a mini there. I'm going to put a mini right there. And then I can use some of the bigger ones right down here and right up there. Okay. And then let's get my little bug put together. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the body. that 
spin this around and this will match up with the body here just like that okay and then we have the little wings so again I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue there and those little wings fit right here under his head where that little blop part is that you, when you cut that out, this little piece right here on that, it just fits right there in the back of the little divot of his head or her head, whatever. Okay, there's my bug. I'm gonna take my lantern um, little dimensionals off. And then we're gonna place our lamp right here in the middle of that, just like that. And then my little bug is gonna get a couple of little dimensionals on that. That's where your little minis fit perfect on the back of your little firefly's body, just like that. Get off of me. I have a hitchhiking dimensional and then this I'm just gonna put this right here like it is those are flying out of his little butt he's got stardust flying out of his butt who knew <laughs> okay so there is our little front layer isn't that so pretty oh I love it and then I like that pumpkin underneath there because it really just makes his butt kind of illuminate Kind of pops that butt. We all need to pop our butt every once in a while, right? Okay. Okay, and you can go real big and add more um, wink to that. You can wink these little, um, the little fairy dust. I mean, it's not fairy dust, but you know what I mean. His little, his little tracers, his trackers, whatever you want to call it. And then that will dry. And then we will add that to the front of our card. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you love it, Patty. Isn't it just beautiful? I love it on that black. Doesn't that black just make it pop? And then with these black little sprigs, I think it really does a lot for this card. Now look, here's the other one that I made. It's still using that same paper I just used. And now this is the same paper, I think, in fact, and it's one of those ones that I told you just cut in half. Let me see if I can find it, hold on. I have a couple packs of this, so let me just pull one pack out. Oh, yep, there it is right there, see? I have taken this piece and I cut it in half and then I used the bottom portion for this one, but I flipped it around so it was darker up here. And then on this one, I used the darker piece up there. So one sheet and I've gotten two different looks out of two different cards with this paper. And again, remember, this is a freebie paper with your celebrations. Um, it is a level one freebie. So all you have to do is spend $50 and you can get this paper pack for free. So it's really pretty on this black. It really makes it pop. So I hope you enjoyed that one but I did wanna show you the one with the daffodil yellow as well, because it really is pretty. So there is card number two. 
Okay, let me get my mess cleaned up and we will get to the gorgeous fun fold number three. And I am also using a celebrations paper with the third card, but it is the favored flowers paper that I'm using with it. Okay, let me get this put away over here and clean these off. Oh, wait a minute. I think we need some embellishments on here. Yeah, we need some embellishments. Hold on. Hold, please. We need to have some pretties. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What does this card need? Do we need maybe some iridescent? Those might be neat, but hold on. Let's see. I mean, we could just leave it alone, but that's awfully boring. We can put black little dots on there. We could do, try to see, that's what I was kind of thinking is putting some of those on there. Yep, let's do it. I like it. I like it with those. Okay, let's put some of these on here. Why not? Let's just do it. Just do it. They're kind of hard to see, but when the light hits them, it really gives kind of a neat little hue to them. You know what? Hold on. Let's take, let's take this one off, maybe. If I don't ruin anything. And let's actually put this one right here. Kind of like an on-off switch, right? Let's put that one there. Ooh, I don't like this here, though. Jeez Louise, make up your mind, lady. Hmm, where do I want it? I don't know. We're just going to go like that. There we go. I guess I don't like those on there, but you know what? In the light, they're kind of pretty. Yep, you can still see where it grabs those pinks and different colors in there, so cool. All right, we had to add them. Okay, let's get that out of the way. All right, card number three. This is a fun fold. We're going to possibly use the Pale Papaya um, Open Weave Ribbon. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or I'm going to use the faux the faux suede or whatever it's called ribbon i haven't decided which one i want to use yet the card base that we need is 11 by four and a quarter and we're going to score this we're going to score this at five and a half so just like we would a regular card and then we're going to score at two and three quarters just like that okay so we're going to fold this in half get this out of the way for the moment we're going to fold this in half if I can find where I put my bone folder hold that there okay and then we're gonna fold this one back up on itself just like that okay so it's gonna sit like that this card is it's like one of those easel cards Okay, the next pieces that we're going to need is, I gotta get my sticky note off of here because my sticky note needs to go over here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna need a piece of basic white. This is four by five and a quarter. This is gonna go on the inside of our card, just like it would in a normal card, like that. Then we need a strip of, I am using the Favored Floral uh, designer series paper. We actually need a couple pieces of that, but I'm just going to go step by step. This piece here is our, this is the four by one and a quarter. This piece is going to go down here, kind of on the bottom of our card. That's what's going to kind of 
once we get our little sentiment, that's what's going to hold the bottom of that card up when this stands. Um, our next piece that we need is we need a piece of basic black. The basic black is three and three quarters by five. Then we need another piece of that designer series paper. This is um, three and a half by four and three quarters. That's going to layer right on top of that. Now let me show you this paper because this paper is gorgeous. This paper has got an abstract design on the back sides of it. It's got more of a pattern. And then you've got the florally images on the front. So you've really got some pretty pinky colors in there along with some of those really gorgeous purples. You've got that Blackberry Bliss with that fresh freesia, which really just makes that pop. You've got the, um, the Mossy Meadow and some of the evening evergreen in here so some gorgeous gorgeous colors paper this is one of those papers that is earned for a level one so fifty dollars will get you this paper so that's going to be our next layer and then i have taken that same piece of paper flipped it over and this is going to go on the front here now this piece here is three and a half by one and a half that's going to be our front image we're going to need a couple of scraps of basic white we also need a scrap of our pale papaya and then we are going to go ahead and use the stamp set i am using the happy labels along with the um, something fancy dies these make some really neat tags and labels if you don't like the fancy, something fancy die set, it comes, now that set is a huge set. If you buy the whole sweet collection, it comes with two different die sets and two different stamp sets. Um, but this is an amazing die set. If you just want a die set to stand alone, you could do this and the um, sentiments alone and make a really great set that way. So just to let you know, um, Let's go ahead and start getting this put together. So let me get some of my other stuff out of the way. Take a drink. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to move this aside, I'm going to move this aside, I'm going to bring my pale papaya in, I'm gonna bring my little mini die cutting machine. I'm going to be grabbing this smaller little tag here, along with this piece here that's got the little like tulip with the little leaves, and we're gonna die cut that out of the pale papaya. So I'm going to put this piece in here. I am going to lay my, my little tag in there. And then this sits right inside of, it almost fits like a little glove. It works perfectly in there. Then I'm going to take this top layer and set on top of there. And knowing that my bottom layer is sticking out further, I can run that right through and watch what I'm going to come out with. Watch what this does. It makes a very, very pretty little decorative piece at the top of this um, little label here or tag. So there we just punch those out. Now look how cute that is. I just put a little floral image at the top of our label. Also what I need to do is I need to stamp on my two little pieces here Okay, this is going to get set aside. I am going to stamp my sentiments. I'm going to stamp thank you. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to die cut this first. So then I make sure. So I'm going to use this die cut right here. And then the die cut right here. 
I think for this, I think I might need the big one. So let me ch double check. I'm grateful for, mm, let's see. I just want to hug you. That one, I might need the smaller one in there. You've got the big, oh yeah, see, the big one's going to be too big. So let me grab the smaller one. You've got the biggest heart. So any of these would fit in this small one. So since we're going to say thank you, um, I just want to hug you. That might be cute. After we say thank you, um, you've got the biggest heart. I kind of like that. So, okay, we're going to die cut both of these first, and then I can stamp on it. And then if I screw it up, then I screw it up. But we're going to just do it. Stop talking about it and do it. All right, so I'm going to put this one up here with this die on that. And then I'm going to put this one right here with this one on that. And then find my other plate wherever I put it. And then we're going to go for it. We're going to cut these out. Just like that. And we've got both of our little pieces here. Okay. So let me put these back in here so I don't lose anything because God only knows I've been known for doing that. And we don't want to lose any of our beautiful little dies. Okay, so there's that. Okay, here's our pieces. Get those out of the way. Okay, this is, we're gonna bring in our stamps. Here's our little thing that we're gonna place the word thank you on. So let's stamp thank you in our memento. Right in the center of this. Actually, we're gonna go this way. Okay, there's our thank you, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna use our, you've got the biggest heart. So now I gotta find that on here. <laughs> is that it? Oh, that is it. It just was upside down. Okay, now we're gonna take this. You've got the biggest heart after I stuck my finger in my ink pad. And we're gonna stamp this right in the center of that. Okay, gorgeous. All right, now we're gonna start putting this together. So these pieces here, we're going to glue this paper to our basic black layer. Okay, just like that. This piece is going to be flipped over this way. And it's going to go here. Okay. Look at that. Then this is going to then be put on here. But we need to put this on here first. Like that. Okay. And then that's going to get popped up on that. <clears throat> and 
And then I brought in the opaque adhesive backed gems. And I think I'm gonna use these white ones over here because that goes well. Let's take this part now, our inside, and we're gonna glue this down. In here. Like that. Okay, then this here is going to get glued right on there and that's what is going to hold our card down just like that okay so let's put this inside of our card And now when this sits, it's going to sit right on the front of that little piece. Now, maybe I should have put that up a little bit higher, but it'll work. So hold on, let me get this done here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take this piece and this piece is gonna go right on the front of this and that's what's gonna hold that down, okay? <clears throat> so let me get that so you're gonna watch all four margins if you want to get it even straighter you can actually open that card up like that but just make sure that you're only adding glue to the bottom half of your piece here so I'm just gonna go just like that and I'm gonna place this watching all of my sides to make sure I get that pretty straight just like that beautiful okay now this little piece here it's gonna go right on here but this is where I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to use this or if I wanted to use the this pale papaya this is that um, faux velvet now I wasn't sure how this would work on here I don't know let's try it when in doubt we just don't put it on there right so I'm gonna take this and trim that and then I'm gonna try to fold this so I can keep both sides kind of facing the same way because we definitely want to see the velvet Ooh, see like that maybe that'll work but I don't know if that's going to make that too thick. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I like that. Yep, that's too thick. Okay, we're going to go with this. And I'm going to bring in... See what my son did for me? He came in here and he taped all of my... Um, my little ribbon ends down to the down to the little card here sometimes the boy can be helpful <laughs> so I told him I said I go hey guy I said I go one of these days you know I'm gonna make you come in here make a card with me and make you do a, a live he goes mom <laughs> I go why you don't think gar guys can craft and he goes well I didn't say that but I said, okay, get rid of the tough guy persona. Okay, so let's go like, how do we have it? We have it like this. Okay, so now we're just going to take this little bow. And that's going to go, oh, much better. Okay, yep, 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 yep. So now I'm going to take this on a mini glue dot and that is going to go right there. Yeah, that looks much daintier. That's pretty. 
and then that's going to go right there on the front. Now, if you have this stamp set, the, um, I, I don't even know what it's called, but um, this flowery stamp set that coordinates with this paper, then you can cut out some flowers and do all the, um, the business with it. I don't have that stamp set. So I'm just going to keep it simple the way this is. Because this way you're showing off that gorgeous paper. Okay, so I'm going to go just like that. Now this is where that is going to hook right on the front of that and sit just like that as a, like a little easel. So when somebody puts it on their desk or on their bookshelf or whatever, they can have it pop up like that. And it's really kind of a cool little, here, let me hold it like this. So then you can see when it sits, it pops that up. And then the back just, I mean, you can put something here if you want to write on there, but you've got all this area in here to write on um, that you don't really need to write on anything in the back unless you need extra space to write, but that just sits right in that little thing like that and pops up. So that is our last card, but hold on, let's add some of these little, hopefully I do better with adding gems this time. Okay, let's see, what are we gonna do here? We're going to add, do we have, ooh, you know what, we have these. Maybe I'm going to go with these instead. Yep, we're going to do that instead. We're not going to use those. We're going to use these pretties. So let's add, let's add just a couple of these around here. So I'm going to do a big one right here. Then I'm going to do one of these small ones right here. I'm going to do another small one right up here. Okay. Just to give it that pop. There we go. There we go. Give it that shimmer and glimmer shine that it needs. So let me grab all three of these cards to bring them in and let you guys see all three of them. Ah, come on. All right, here we go. Get my little dimensionals out of here so you guys can see the cards versus my mess. Okay, there are all three of today's cards. So like, comment, share. Those will be the cards in that order of how they will be um, given out in next week's um, drawing. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. I hope you give it a try. Um, you will really enjoy a product. Join my team. It's always fun. Um, we've got so many things going on, different kinds of giveaways, different kinds of, um, we do so many different kinds of card challenges where full sets get given away. Um, you can get um, a free stamp set if you join in a couple of our different um we do a challenge that's called a Make It Monday, and I sponsor that, and we give away a stamp set with some embellishments. I also do mystery stamping myself for my um, viewers, so there's just a lot that goes on. It's really fun to be a part of this huge stamping community, and you really get support from um, people that, like you, like to craft and can really help you with inspiration and all the good things that come behind this. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed these cards and have yourselves a wonderful and safe week. I will see you guys back here on Thursday. Thursday, I've got a lot going on. Thursday, I have coffee and cards. Plus, as soon as my paper pumpkin gets here, because uh, 
I have not received my paper pumpkin yet. And with today being the holiday, there was no mail. So hopefully I get it tomorrow so I can start creating my alternatives so I can do my alternatives for you guys on Thursday. Otherwise, I'm going to have to postpone that and push it out until uh, March 2nd which I don't really want to do. I like keeping it the last Thursday of the month, but if I don't have the kit, then clearly I can't make alternatives, right? So you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you guys back here on Thursday and toodaloo.